Hey, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Looking Beyond the Veil. Today we're going to talk about Three of Wands. Three of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries. A man dressed in red and green robes, red and green robes, standing on a cliff, his back is turned, and the Three of Wands are planted in the ground, reflecting his commitment to his plans. He has left the Two of Wands and is now in a vast and an open space, looking out at mountains and the sea. Three ships pass by, symbols of movement and progression. From his high place, he can see everything that lies ahead, including opportunities and the mountains, symbolic of challenges. The Three of Wands in a reading signifies the many chances available to you uh, to broaden your horizons through study, travel, business, and learning. To take advantage, or um, you must stay committed to your path and be prepared to step out of your comfort zone, or as I like to call it, your hidey hole. To dream big. It also speaks of changes and challenges that lie ahead. May also signify travel, probably um, over the sea. You are encouraged to be adventurous, to discover more about yourself, and to learn new things. Now what if you get the Three of Wands in the reverse? You're saying no to opportunities. Deciding instead to play safe and, and stay in your hidey hole. You may also, it may also mean that you are um, already tired and you may have already tried but failed and afraid to try again. Disappointment, frustration, and feeling sorry that you may have even tried to attempt this journey. It, it may be coming to a grinding halt. You may also be struggling with the concept that you have overcommitted yourself. And that happens to a lot of us. How many times have we overcommitted to promise something? And then when the day of promise comes, we think, oh my God, I have so much on my plate and now I promise this, such as taking care of an elderly person or a person who needs special attention. So this is the three, three of wands, reversed and upright. I thank you for joining me today. And we'll see you next time on Looking Beyond the Veil. Namaste.